Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla. Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Have you been diagnosed with fibroids and are trying to conceive? You're finding it difficult because of the condition that you have? Then let's try to understand how you can achieve pregnancy and how you can solve this problem of fibroids that you have. So your chances of success um, and your chances to conceive entirely depend on where the fibroids are located and how big they are. Sometimes fibroids are located outside the uterus, in the fallopian tubes or inside the uterus. Entirely based on where they are, your chances of success are determined. If they are inside the endometrium, then your chances of success are low because they not only distort the shape of the uterus, but they also interfere with the implantation site, which is where the embryo usually implants to become a baby. Or if they are inside the fallopian tubes, then the tubes uh, may be blocked whereby the sperms and the eggs don't meet and fertilization does not occur and therefore uh, there is a lesser chance of conceiving. So depending on where they are, your chance of success varies as I said. But if they are outside the uterus, if they are inside the wall of the uh, myometrium that is in the wall of the uterus uh, where they are not invaginating into the endometrium inside the cavity then they do not interfere with your chances of success. Now how do you solve this problem? Like I said your doctor will decide whether to even deal with the fibroids based on if you are trying to conceive or not. If you are trying to conceive which is what our topic of discussion is today your physician will decide whether you need surgery for it. So uh, what basically is done is a hysteroscopy where a small scope is passed inside the uterus and the fibroid can be removed. Um, some are of the opinion that a laparoscopy also works but many studies have revealed that with laparoscopy if there are cancer cells then there is a scope of spreading of those cancer cells. So surgeons are now divided and say that a single incision is better and hysteroscopy is even more better because there is no incision and recovery time is faster. Soon after these procedures, you heal faster and there is a chance of you conceiving on your own, which is why hysteroscopy and uh, operative hysteroscopy work very well in cases of fibroids. If you have been diagnosed with fibroids and would like to get a second opinion or would like to understand your chances of pregnancy, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. We strive very hard to make these informative videos for you. Please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos. Thank you.